Welcome to this special edition of 504 Road Trips. It's March 23rd, 2020, and I'm taking a ride across the river to Metairie, Louisiana. This is something I normally don't do because I'm usually in the office Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and um, I avoid crossing this bridge just because of the amount of traffic. This is rush hour, and there's cars on the road, but this is normally a parking lot at this time of day. Um, this is the first time in 20 years that I have just not opened up the office. Um, had a lot of scheduled vacation days, you know, that I'll let everybody know in advance that I'd be gone, you know, for long weekends or whatever. And uh, we've had hurricane closures and stuff like that where there was, you know, I, I just couldn't go into the office because there was a curfew or we had evacuated, like in the case of Hurricane Katrina, we were gone for two weeks. Um, but yeah, this is the first time in 20 years that I've not opened the office. I think one time I was sick. But other than that, that's it. So there's very little traffic. I have to go to Metairie. I'm going to take a detour through the CBD, though, so we can see what things look like down there. This whole thing has been very similar to when a hurricane comes, where everybody gets nervous and hoards water. Not usually toilet paper. That's a little bit different. Um, but everybody gets nervous and we wait for the storm to come. And there's certain preparations that you make, like boarding up windows that might get busted if uh, there's flying debris. And uh, what's different here is that you know you can't watch the Weather Channel and see when the storm's coming. There's really no preparations to make other than make sure you got supplies to last a little while. But everybody here has been practicing social distancing, or at least we hope. Um, really haven't had much contact with anybody except my neighbors and it was kind of awkward we all sat in three different corners of the room and talked for a little while Saturday and then of course there's the grocery stores where there's a lot of people packed into a small space And you got to be careful not to touch anything you don't have to touch and don't touch your face and get home and decontaminate yourself, wash your hands real good. That's something I'm avoiding doing. If I can, if I can avoid going to the store again, I'm not going to go to the store, but that's pretty much impossible. We got delivery from Chipotle last night. And um, they notified us through the app that they were coming. <coughs> and that's an allergy cough there. There's something in the air. At least I hope. But, um, so yeah, we get the notification that the uh, order was about to be delivered. And. So I walked out on the front porch, and it was getting dark, so I brought the flag in and was looking around and didn't see anybody coming up the street. And then I noticed that there was a bag on the little, there's a little baker's rack next to our front door for plants, and there was a bag there, and it was the Chipotle order. Apparently they got out of there before they even notified us that it was delivered. 
So I'm sure those people want to avoid contact with anybody if they can. So this is downtown New Orleans, the CBD. It's the Pan American Life building in front of us on the left, and there is practically nobody around. And I guess the people that are on the streets have some place to go. Canal Street and then I'm going to go back to the expressway so I can get to where I need to go because I want to get done with this and I guess I'm just going to go home. I have to pick something up from a vendor and drop it off to a customer. Hopefully get a check so I at least have a little bit of income this week. Canal Street, abandoned, completely abandoned. French Quarters to our right. And all these businesses are shuttered. Looks like the city's getting some work done, taking advantage of the lack of people and traffic. So we can only go so far up Canal because of the Hard Rock Hotel, which is on the right. You can see the crane hanging off the top of the building up there. So I'm going to make a U-turn here. And we're going to go up Barone Street back to the expressway. building on the corner there is boarded up. Everybody would roll down shutters has them rolled down. It's just surreal. This street is never empty like this. This is a bike lane here. They installed a bike lane the length of Barone Street. And you can't drive in it. Nopsy Hotel on the right. Nopsy standing for New Orleans Public Service Incorporated. That was once the Nopsy building. I have to drive in the bike lane here since they got the one travel lane blocked.
So we're going to get back on the Pontchartrain Expressway here and head back out into Jefferson Parish. They don't have the ramp meters turned on this morning. I don't know whether they're normally off by this time because it is after 9. Or maybe they only turn them on in the evening. There's quite a bit of traffic on the expressway, but it's not like it normally is. Not enough to cause it to come to a complete stop. Last week, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell ordered that there be no gatherings of more than 10 people. Pretty much stay at home unless you have, need essential services, which is like doctor, grocery, um, that sort of thing. I guess anything you need to survive, but no going out to the bar, no going out to the casino. All the bars and casinos are closed. And then yesterday, Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards announced pretty much the same thing statewide uh, as of 5 o'clock today. So all non-essential businesses are to be closed statewide. And uh, pretty much just stay at home and hope for the best. going for a month or two without really having any problems, but there's a lot of people that just live paycheck to paycheck that have nothing put away. They can't evict anybody right now. There's a lot of question about um, deferring mortgage payments or forbearance or whatever and from what I've heard from people I call their mortgage companies the mortgage companies are not being cooperative out here on a Saturday afternoon. and back into Jefferson Parish. This is Metairie. 
this is where a lot of the jobs are. So you'll see a lot of people commute from the West Bank where we started out here. Uh, there's more jobs out here in Metairie now than there are in the Central Business District. Lots of trucks on the road though, and I guess those guys can keep going. Hopefully they can avoid contact with other people. Because they gotta keep the freight moving. If they shut down, we're all in trouble. Cloverleaf interchange out here. The other one was at Causeway Boulevard, but it's been so heavily modified. I think it's only got one leaf left. cars at this little strip mall ahead of us. I guess everybody's trying to get the last little bit of money in that they can at their businesses before they have to shut down for God knows how long. Gas is a dollar ninety-five a gallon here. There's other places within forty miles of here that gas is in the dollar sixties. But I guess nobody's really gone any place, so nobody's buying gas in bulk.
this is the heaviest traffic I've seen so far today. And it's just because they have a lane closed. These are narrow lanes. I think these lanes are only 11 feet wide and there's truck traffic on here. So this is Airline Highway, or Airline Drive, U.S. Highway 61. We're going on to Louisiana 3152 from here. Actually, I think we've been on 3152 the whole way on Clearview. We're approaching the Earhart Expressway. That's what this overpass here is, and there's going to be an interchange. Uh, then we'll be in Elmwood, which is basically a giant industrial park. Let's see if anybody's at the mall today. It's like a strip mall. Look at that, we have a flashing yellow here. That was something I didn't think existed anywhere in Louisiana, and they have a sign indicating left turn yield on flashing yellow. We've seen those in other places, but that's the first time I've seen that in New Orleans, or the New Orleans area, I guess, because we're not really in New Orleans. And I guess that bottom light is a dedicated turn arrow. That probably comes on before the other light turns red. So this is, I don't even know what they call this mall. Kmart doesn't have anybody at it. Of course, Kmart's out of business. I'm not sure how long ago this store closed. It's been a while. Madeline is open for curbside pickup. Bath and Body Works is closed. 
think that was a banana republic. I mean, these all look, these are all completely vacant here. Looks like that used to be a Michaels. Oshkosh, Bagosh, and Carter's Babies and Kids closed. I mean, in business, but closed for now. Marshall's Home Goods appears to be closed. Children's Place, Express Factory Outlet, Oshner Fitness Center. That's why there's cars here, because of Oshner Fitness Center. Although I thought they ordered all the fitness centers to close, too. Kirkland's is closed. Torrid. TJ Maxx. I didn't know we had TJ Maxx anymore. Route 21. Five below. And over there in front of us, the only thing that looks like it's open is uh, PetSmart, maybe. Office Max, Party City, Guitar Center, Skechers, are all closed. So anyway, we're going to end the video here. I'm sure wherever you are, you're seeing things similar to this. Um, all we can do is hope for the best. So we're going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to keep going with my normal videos, so... Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and join us for our next 504 road trip.